Saints, welcome back to the Halo Morning Show. Please be silent for the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the announcements for today. Good morning, Saints. Today is the feast day of St. Mauro. St. Mauro, please pray for all of us, and especially those celebrating a birthday today. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And there, they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. From the book of Luke, chapter 24. This appearance of Jesus to two of his disciples is intriguing and fascinating. Why did Jesus appear to them, conceal who he was, sit down and break bread with them, allow them to suddenly recognize him, and then vanish into thin air? Well, he did it for a reason, and we should be very attentive to this. Jesus wanted those disciples, as well as all of us, to know that he who rose from the dead was very much alive, and that we would recognize him in the breaking of the bread. We would recognize him in the most holy Eucharist. Jesus is alive in the Eucharist, but it also tells us that he is veiled in the Eucharist. This combination of being veiled and truly present gives us wonderful guidance in our faith. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you are always with us. Help us to see you and to recognize your gentle and still voice. Give us the eyes of faith to see you present in the Most Holy Eucharist, and help us to discern your presence in every ordinary event of our day. We love you, dear Lord Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a good day. Thank you, Brianna. Happy birthday yesterday to Cole Best, Haley Durbin, and Lindsay Worley, and happy birthday today to Sophia Meyer. Today is National Glaze Spiral Hand Day. I think you know what to do. If you plan to donate your hair for wigs out this year, please go to www.stasaints.net slash wigs out to sign up as soon as possible. In Saints Girls Soccer News, the United Soccer Coaches of America will name a Kansas All-State team this summer. St. Thomas Aquinas will have two players on that team, junior goalkeeper Taylor James and junior midfielder Grace O'Keefe. Taylor and Grace will be named to the All-Midwest Region team and Grace the All-American team. Congratulations to both of these Saints. Hello again, Saints. Jackson and I are here to announce that the 2020 to 2021 Student Council Executive Election results are in. Thank you to all the candidates who ran. Congratulations to your new Executive Council. Timmy Novacek, Gabby Mazaris, Maria Paul Suelos, and your new president, Ben Ferguson. I'm so excited to see what great things you guys are going to bring to Aquinas next year, and I'm glad we're leaving the school in your hands. Now, if you wish to run for a position on Class Student Council, we will be holding those next school year in the fall. Thank you, Saints. Today's teacher of the day is Mrs. Shoneman. She's always there to help and always does what is best for her students. Thank you so much for being so awesome, and congratulations on being teacher of the day. That's all we have for today, Saints. Congratulations to the new exec members. You'll do great. And remember to make this day count.